Well, I've asked them what into here. Hell nah. I'm here to save the day. Hey, right, you want some? <laughs> I'm here to see you. Yo, what's up, everybody? Was out here. This episode is going to be a good one. This episode is going to be very fun. Definitely recommend you stay for the ride because we are starting the Silver Shroud quest line, one of the best in the game. Oh, you're not Irma. You want role playing? I've got you, man. Hi. Do you mean I can't do that this time? Crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days, but but now. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City. But over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. <laughs> I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. You really gotta rain on this guy's picnic. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Well, I might this. do it if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise she'll help me. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Nice. So there we go. We're going to be the Silver Shroud. That is right. We're going to fight crime. Like I said, if you're not already planning on sticking out for this whole episode, I recommend you do because we're going to have fun right now. As you see, we're all suited up. But not in the Silver Shroud suit. No, we're just in some casual black suit for a reason because I'm going to show you... One of the coolest dialogues in the game. I absolutely recommend if you play and you do this bit of dialogue. I think most people already know about this, but if you don't, I'm going to leave it as a surprise. But we're suited up for a reason right now, because we're going to bump in someone we met earlier. And I mean earlier. Um, in this old rundown hotel. I mean, look at this place. And people are paying to stay here, but you know what? You could say it's rundown, but... Compared to a lot of places in Wasteland, this place is actually decent, to be fair. Besides from all the crime, obviously, in the city. But, um... Let's go and knock on this door. Hey there. What? No. It can't. <laughs> it, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? It's vault Tech Rep! Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. But then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. 200 years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? Vault Tech never told me that. <laughs> See how uh, dodgy Vault Tech is. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through. Hey, maybe you got a better deal of it, though. The decay. 
and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. But I mean, so you didn't get experimented on. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul <laughs> with 200 years of vault tech seals experience. Let's send him to our base, man. He can stay with us. Hey, we built some later. Back to sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You? You will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? All of his face lights up, man. There. But yeah, maybe you got the best end of a deal. I mean, he didn't get experimented on. He still got to live, but. I love vault tech rep, everyone loves vault tech rep, and I love the way his face lights up, man, when we tell him that. I've totally forgot about this, guys. I've totally forgot to finish the last quest. You ask me. Freedom yes, yes, Preston. Freaking talk his heads off. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Yeah, I totally forgot That's to do this last episode. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Ah, oh, man. Do I want to hear all this? you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? <coughs> You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. See why I hate Preston, by the way. was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Oh, man. I almost fell asleep just listening to this guy. <laughs> I don't accept that. The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. Now, more than ever, we just need better leaders. Leaders who will put the good of the Commonwealth ahead of their own little group. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Uh, what do I even respond to that? I don't know what makes you think that. You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. I've already followed you through hell and high water, and I'd like to think I have more Here's sense than pipe, you know. Absolutely not. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You're the one who can bring the minimum. No. No. I'm not your savior. I have my own problems. Can't force you to Not today, me. not tomorrow, not in a million years. I get it. You can't take care of other people's problems. We're switching out Piper, by the way, ASAP. She's starting to irritate me now. I hope you change your mind and accept my proposal. The Commonwealth needs you. I want Nick back, man. Excuse me. That's it, it's time. We're gonna go get the Silver Shroud costume. And by the way, look at this guy. He looks like Omar. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to retrieve the Silver Shroud costume for our guy. And this place is going to be crawling in gold, so uh, take caution, I guess. I see a little ghoulie ghoulie. Ghoulie ghoulie. But uh, this quest line is easily one of my favorites in the game. It's just so much fun. I love the whole vibe of it. I love the radio station. I just love it. 
I think it's dope. And um, yeah. This is what I mean, man. We gotta switch out Piper. She just comes out with stupid stuff. I don't even know why I got sick of Nick in the first place. Nick's dope. Yes. Oh yeah. I'll loot everything for what it's worth. You know me. And there's a radiated golem in this place, by the way, so uh, take extra caution. I should have said that earlier, actually. But this place ain't, uh, what do you say? This place ain't for the... Ain't for the weak. Where are they? We're in here somewhere. Uh oh. <laughs> I killed him for even a chance. Oh, my days? Where did he come from? I literally did not see that man sneak up on me. Jeez. Let's go ahead, that was a quantum. I had the, uh, the Jones Soda Nuka Quantum in real life, if you guys have seen that. The Jones Soda, they did uh, the Nuka Cola. It was good, man. It's the first time I've tried the Jones soda. It was alright, man. But it's just cool to have it in your collection. Because, you know, outside of playing the games, I fall on collect uh, Fallout merchandise. I uh, collect the big box PC games. I've not got them all yet. I've just got the Fallout 2 big box. Uh, eventually, I want to get a Fallout 1 and Tactics. Um, and just a ton of other stuff. I've actually, as we talk, got the, uh, the nuke. You can get the Fallout, the actual nuke. And uh, it comes with all the games, and I've got that coming in the post as we speak. Super collectible item, man. Uh, and I've got a crazy bargain on it. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll probably do a video on that if you guys want me to do a little unboxing. As far as I know, it's like, more or less brand new. Uh, I asked the seller if they could send me a photo of the discs, and that was the first time they ever even opened the boxes, so... Do you know what I mean? I'm a total nerd, I won't even deny it. <laughs> Uh, let's go make sure. I think there's some fans in here. Yeah, fans is like duct tape to me. You've got to get fans, man. You see duct tape, you see fans, you get it. You don't leave that stuff. But um, I think that's everything. Right, so we're going to take caution. In fact, let's make sure we've got a, a grenade of some sort. Might make things easier. Molotovs, yeah. I'll do. Hold on. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's real. that made it easy. Oh, nice one, Piper. That made it easier, man. Jesus, just still. That like never happens. It usually runs out here and like that's why I was gonna throw a monster. Oh. I forgot about the rest of you up. Yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, that's probably the easiest thing I've ever killed that goal, man. Right, make sure we get everything. I'm one over. I'll do. Here we go. And. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm looking at it. <laughs> the silver submachine gun, and it ain't just a prop, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Such a cool costume, by the way, but uh, we'll get into that later. God, I knew that was going to happen, man. It's carrying too much, man. I've got that junk on me, I've forgot to drop it off at the sanctuary. We are back where we should be. Let's go give Cuz the silver shroud costume and he should be happy as hell to receive it. Hope so, I've gone out my way for him.
good old good neighbour, except it ain't that good at all. Ain't the worst place ever, though. I still think they exaggerate it a little bit. Like, yeah, it's bad, but come on. I'd sooner be here than some of the damn places. I What's got good, buddy? Weekend. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. Silver Shroud costume herself. You too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just What's that problem? Shroud material. I could be Brett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Believe in yourself, man. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better <laughs> idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. <laughs> yeah, what's the reward? I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. I will do it. We'll become a shroud. Looks like I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. <laughs> We're basically going to become the Batman There's that kills, man. Cards, I guess. That's right. If you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight Leave crime. them calling cards behind. Let them know it was there. It was me, baby, the Silver Shroud. Guys, the game is about to get fun. Y'all about to love this. But first, I've got one thing to do. As you see, we're going to make the game a little bit harder because goodbye combat armor. We're going to go full cosplay into this. As you see, it's me, the Silver Shroud. When I got my Tommy gun, that is. <laughs> I totally forgot to equip that. That's better. And we'll use that. It's not great, but we'll use it. Who cares? The Silver Shroud. I love it, man. What a total vibe. <clears throat> so we've got a list for Silver Station over at Good Neighbor. Yeah, we can do that. Galaxy, no. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Holy moly! Galaxy News Radio. I figure I should feel like you listen to that uh, radio station. It's dope as hell, but I'll be playing in the background whilst I talk. Yeah. You not see me run up on you, man? You scumbag. Speaker shroud. You got to. Gone unpunished well, for too long. Well. What the hell's wrong Looks with like you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. Yeah, wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> you see how crap this gun is. <laughs> nice one, mate. Might as save the day, though. <laughs> I want to do it just to be vibey, no, man, but I think that's the last time we'll be using that or something, babe. Not so fast, waste, fancy now, pants. It? Your wallet. And that snazzy briefcase you carry in. Leave behind that calling up. card. Now. Here we go. This little bat symbol. Friend of the show. Ain't this just a vibe Jerry. though? Fighting crime in good neighbor. Total Hello. noir. Hello. You gotta it's love on. it, man. Nick Valentine with me. He fits the purpose. I had to take Nick with me, man. There's no way Piper would have fit this vibe. Nick on the other hand. Absolutely. 
Uh, yeah, I just gotta listen to the. Great, great. See what's next. Silver shrouds dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the shroud off Wayne. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. Hi. Right. chems have killed people. Let's go deal with... And? Oops. Let's go okay. deal with AJ. We can't let AJ kill kids. It's another scumbag, eh? Whatever. Plague in the streets, a good neighbor. Galaxy news. We ain't the only friend of AJ here. You follow? Oh, I follow all right, man. Hey, look at the clowns. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them. Trespassers. Today's episode, the mystery of peddling Bay poison Bay. to kids, are we? <laughs> Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, who I say? We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back. Alright? Hell no! Nah. I ain't take no bribe from no drug so dealer plaguing our kids. Miscreant, or yeah, face, face my wrath. Let me show you. Uh, you're through, the son. Contents. That's right, Nick. We won't kill these freaks. I feel like I'm gonna quit, man. Jesus. Dude, I was not expecting that, man. I don't know, am I gun equipped? Obviously, we're not in the combat armor or anything. Jesus, they nearly wrecked me. That's what I mean, man. The game becomes tough right here, but hey, it's a challenge. You know, the dope as hell in this combat. Uh, in this shout outfit, so. Why the hell not? I think you're real tough, huh? Oh, man. I just need to get out of here. So am I, Nick. All right. Oh my days, my aim, man. <laughs> I love it, man. Taking out these bad guys. Piling up these scum. Literally, look on piled up like that, little dog pal. Leave behind a little bat symbol. Oh, yes. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. Now, a special update. The Silver <laughs> Shroud! <laughs> I would have bad ass though. What can I say? All suited up and that. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel, Charlie. The All right, check sure it. Him Me and my guy, Nick. Galaxy. We're saving this damn city. <laughs> Charlie serves the drinks. I deal. Yeah, I know who Charlie is. Shh. Is that a yes, yes, Charlie. What you know, boy? I removed that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffering. Mistress of Mystery Scope, are you not British at all, is he? Silver <laughs> Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud. <laughs> No, dear. Kendra is Shroud's not one to be trifled with. Mistress People associated with her have a habit of being Mayor's found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting I followed him to that for fee, it can be arranged. I was about to. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house. You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a good one. Very skilled 
Listen, mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your camps by a logger instead. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end all? In that case, if that's just south of good name, water's <laughs> I can't get over that, man. That's so bad that I couldn't. Nasty piece of business there. Oh yeah, keep keep. It really does dirty, man. Move! Ah, let's go kill Kendra. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. Can't get over how good my character looks, man. I really modeled him to look good for this outfit, did I not? Bit of a small track, but it ain't too bad. Come on, doll face. It's right through here. Oh man, I forgot about these guys though. I swear he killed you, look. Oh gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. So again, yeah, I shot him. Paul, you What's that? dumb jamoke. What's the big idea? I mean, who's that? Don't get it away, mate. It's my hideout. Nah, really bad. Oh, she's all yeah, right. Yeah, sniper's dope, right, man. Oh yeah. Just like that man. Super mutant down off. And yeah, of course I'm alright. How did I miss that? Girl in I don't think I can get into that bar or something. Ah, brother. Alright. The skirt will oh. stay. But close that door. Last thing we need is. Oh my dad, three quarters of his health, one shot. I was hoping I'd be able to one shot him actually. Man. Ooh. Oh, nice one. You were duped. That's no normal. Quite right, custodian of criminality. I tell you what, Nick's being helpful though. Like, he ain't just standing about. To be fair, Pipe was last game, but. Oh, sorry, last quest, but, you know. Nick's doing his thing. He's pulling his way. What can I say? I can't hate on him. Not that I was anyway. I think Nick's dope. I think he's a great companion in this game. I really do. And I think he's a vibe. I think he's pretty badass. But he's a good guy. You know what I mean? He's all the right vibe for this mission. Detective Nick. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, he done shot, man. He didn't stand the shot. Look away, you fall. What crap. Pathetic and predictable when faced with fear. The cocksure culprit. Let's do it. <laughs> well, I got his head off me. Mate, I even try it. Don't even try it. Level up, baby. Do that later. <laughs> what do you guys think I should put some points into? Let me know in the comments. And I hope everybody's enjoying this. Except it's gonna be an extra long episode just because I want to do all the Silver Shroud as one. But uh, let me know what you think of a longer episode. Obviously, the last episode was only like 20 minutes. This one we're going full on out. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you're all still enjoying the series, uh, let me know everything, man. I like to hear from everybody. Yeah, get me! Oh, that's the wrong floor, innit? Sorry. What the heck are you guys doing? Oh my god, that actually could have just fired. Bro! Getting peed off. Oh my. Jesus, man! How many misses? Yeah, we're on the wrong floor. I forget, man. It's been a while. Oh, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother. Just jumping down the elevator. Sorry, come on, Nick. Have it!
Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned right, subsidiary right. of Galaxy News Network. Yeah, this is more like it. Oh man, what a fail. Always make sure you got ammo in your gun, people. Well, that's a big difference when you got scavengers. You okay? Time to talk. Yeah. I'm sure I have no yes, idea. And no, robotic hellspawn they were, but not Fat Fahey's, for he himself. You have taken your last life, villain. Someone else is actually the master of it all. You are. I think she's hilarious. That's why you die like that, woman. Silver shroud, baby. Certainly, but which there we go. None of these villains stand a chance to the silver shroud. Tell me this ain't one of the dopest quest lines. Tell me it ain't, and I'll tell you you is wrong. <laughs> All right, Nick, let's get out of here, baby. So dope, man, so dope. Expecting all that, man. Is that nowhere? Oh, really? You as well? <laughs> Damn, man, super mutants. They've got irritating faces, haven't they? The faces irritate you. Right, this is the part where now, um, story sort of breaks off, and you can do this optional assassinate Shelley. But we're not. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News. Oh, we're gonna meet with Hancock. Cool. Well, I look like a bartender. Take it from walks the streets. Mayor Hancock. One man lurks in the shadows. Knock a duck, duck. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode: The Mechanist Unmasked. Where you at, bro? Upstairs. You got a problem? Guess what someone tells me. Some costume is <laughs> operating <laughs> in Over a and bit the of fire. Is, it ain't Reminds me how I feel about this. Chelsea Mingler. So it tells me he's about that respect for me. Indeed, this neighborhood is right. ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. He's like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book and not dead. Just priceless. This dialogue, man, is amazing. Fashion and a few faces. I respect that. So far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the get up? Many have sought to pierce the Shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lives you took out. All belong to the same asshole. And that asshole planning some old fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taking two bit raider outfits and making Skyward. Small fish now. But if left alone. And it would seem he's biting. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of shit. Got a lead on two of them. A lot of judging. Oh, yeah, a lot of judging. Smash his face in two. Northy is just really scared. Hired himself some goons. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin. 
I'm inclined to show you some gratitude, you feel me? Uh-huh. Alright, let's do it. So we've got a couple of people to kill, hopefully find the location. Big bad boss! So, fisticuffs it is then. Let's just do it. Here's Silver Shroud! Oh man, I meant to throw a grenade there by the way. What a fail, man. Ah! This one's an arsehole as well. It's in the run, though. So I will chase him. Got you, mate. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, what a fail! Jesus, man. Should have killed him already. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's messed up, man. See, so, yeah, like I said, there is an optional thing of killing Shelly, but I just... Really? I just, uh, I, I don't want to do that. Really makes no difference. In fact, I almost recommend just, just forget about it. Did he just kill himself? Okay, mate. Why are there so many of you in Red Hill, Billy Fox? My days, I'll crucify every last one of you. <laughs> oh, he's got mine. Go on, blow him up, blow him up. Nice. That's how you take him out, man. That's how you take care of it. Nuclear material, take that. Jeez, man. These people showing out a garb of bad guys. <laughs> this one right here should be easy. Alright, Kate. You ain't gonna be smiling anymore. Let's do it. Oh, really? You're dead now, aren't you? You're going into a war, man. What's wrong with you? Ah, we got the clues. Cool, so uh, we can head back to Good Neighbor now and uh, see what Kent has to say about all this. Come on, Nick. Let's go find our guy. Hey, what's going on? What's going on in here? Where's Kent at? Tell me what's oh, good, man. You. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Calm yourself. <laughs> so proud. stupid in this situation. Oh, please, stop. <laughs> That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps the clues is in the radio. Sarah. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. What a scumbag. Do it, Shroud! Do it! Oh, my knee! Ah. Something? Welcome Let's go save Kent! Tick -tock, Shroud. Kent's a good guy, man. Yeah, they torture him and stuff. I'm not having it. What's up, everybody? Just took like a little five minute break, but we'll be back. And um, we're gonna go ahead and put on the combat armor.
because we're gonna need it. <laughs> it's gonna get crazy in here. But uh, yo, let's get right into it. Let's go save Kent and kill that son bitch. <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ooh, funny. <laughs> I need about five minutes, man. I'll start to get a bit of a headache, but... Let's go kill some raiders. Come on. Come on! Ah, that was almost badass. <laughs> nah. Search for that loot, man. So there we go, stim pack. See, that's why you search for loot. This game is a good looter shooter. <laughs> We're going up, Nick. Have you got a gun reloaded? Because you're gonna need it. Your little pipe pistol revolver thing. Going down. Going down, not up, down. Yeah, you scumbag. Cool way your brain exploded, man. That could never happen to me. Oh, shit. Oh, I ran right into that. Yeah, die, man. This gun's just so dope with this rifle now. Especially, you know, we've done the uh, extended mag and everything. It's a machine. And like uh, I said in a few episodes back, it does not require much going out your way. You're already on the path. You might as well just go to that little blood clinic, pick yourself this rifle up, you ain't going to regret it. And uh, you customize like me, look. And even like later on in the game... Oh, that's decent. Even later on in the game, you know what I mean? It's not a weapon that you're going to get rid of necessarily. Um, you know, the more you you get to level 25, you can unlock better mods. And Jesus Christ, man, I didn't notice that. <laughs> but yeah, you mod like the weapon out and everything, and it can be a it can be a weapon that you can use early on in the game, and it's going to inflict a lot of damage. And it's going to be good for early on. And later on in the game, even when you've got like you know crazy ass weapons, it's still a gun you can rely on. Like I said, especially with the mods. So uh, definitely some, uh, you know what I mean, it's going to last you the entire game if you want it to, you don't have to of course. This guy's starting to annoy me now. Are you going to peek or what man? Yeah. Look at you, crap, that's why you're hiding. Not that it's an army. Are you going to get out of my way, Nick? <laughs> it just, it's always in my way, I swear. I don't think there's too much in here actually, is there? What are you doing? No. Quantum soda, that's about it, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I've got loads now at this point. And that's another thing, blood packs. Blood clinic, blood packs. Who's on the other side of the door? You scumbags! Oh man, I was hoping I killed him. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, come out, wherever you are. I'm playing game for you. Always. Oh, but you can get me, of course you can. Yeah, Silver Shroud! Bam! You're done, though. Ain't really hurting me that much anyway with this combat armor, but you know. Where I cannot take damage. No way I could pick this. Ah. 
Oh my days, where's my aim? I barely use this pistol, man. I went out of my way to mod it, but... Uh, it's better with later on mods. You know, it's not bad, but like the ammo's rare, and honestly, I think when I mod it better later on, it'll be a lot better. But uh, let's make a quick save. Let's make sure we're definitely in that Silver Shroud outfit so we can get the unique dialogue and uh, thank me later for that one. Easy to forget. Going down. Let's go get Kent. Let's do it. You scumbag. Hold assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent's head. We'll see about that. Speak a silver shroud. Behind an innocent. You are craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk yeah. To some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human. And you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? Come on, man. Kent's cool. I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. He's a phony. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then I'm going to good neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. And this is why I say to put on the Silver Shroud outfit because it's actually the best bit of dialogue in the game, I swear, man. But it's not always good to plan, so let's make sure we uh, save. What happens is this, everyone that points a gun at me, dies. Every. Last. One. <laughs> you can't do anything to us Coward! Coward! Oh yeah, you gonna die now! Leave Ketchy alone! <laughs> Scumbag man! Just another victim of a silver shroud. Yes, Kenty, what's up man? Ken. I've never Save been your so ass. happy to see anyone in my entire uh. life. I'm glad I got here in time. You and me both, Shroud. But I don't know. I just give up. On all of it. Crime fighter just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... You're right. But I'm tired. You do that, bro. I you do that. Going back to good neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Ken. Let's see what the mayor's got in store for us. Go collect that reward. Hey, you heard now? The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. Hmm. Well, I just need time to recover. I hope of freedom no. one more day. Take this for the effort. That's what we're talking about. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? <laughs> throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be <laughs> without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? Yeah. This, this means a lot to me. Good old Ken. some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll, fire I'll definitely do that. If I make cool. Progress. 750 caps makes it totally worth it, man. Absolutely. Guys, I really hope you have enjoyed the Silver, uh, the silver Shroud quest line. I think it's one of the best in the games. It's so much fun. But everybody, remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have it! Sure. Ask away. It's just... Uh... With everything that's happened with you and your, your 
family. It's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. I don't know, Nick. My family's in tatters. I've been dropped into this place where everything's trying to kill me. You tell me. Well, I'd expect you to feel lost, scared, and mad as hell. I sure did. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Hey. I'll uh, see what I can do. I need to shoot the 